Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental L Tutoring. I've been tutoring now for about 13 years and I still work in the dental office about twice a week, but I do tutor primarily um, full time and I love it. But um, I love to talk to people about their oral health, so that brings me to the video today where I wanna to talk to you guys about when you should take your child to, to see the dentist for the first time. Now, you might hear a couple different things from different people, but some say that you should take your child in as soon as you see their first tooth, okay? So they're, they're, they're obviously going to be very, very young, right? So that might not be necessary per se, but a lot of parents feel that that's too early to bring their kids in, that they'll just sit there, you know, cry, they'll have a hard time but it's totally up to you. What I tell my patients and parents is to bring them in age two um, at the latest, you know, um, and that's because at age two, even if you don't see any problems with their teeth, like if you don't notice any, you know, stain, there's no cavities, you're pretty sure, they eat limited sugar, you know, if you're pretty sure their teeth look, you know, nice, still bring them in at age two, because then that way we can talk to him or her, you know, they may be shy, that's okay, or they may be super excited, right? You just never know. I have seen two-year-olds who are shy and don't say anything, I've seen two-year-olds who are so um, excited and I can do like a full cleaning on them. Um, or I've seen two-year-olds who sit there and don't open their mouths. That's okay. The main thing is that they come in and we show them around so that they feel comfortable. So that they don't feel like they're going to like a medical office, you know, because that can scare anybody. But if we, if they come in, we can show them we have toys, we have a toy box. Um, after they do a good um, job with their appointment, they can have a toy, they can have a new toothbrush, new toothpaste, all of that stuff. So as a parent though, you need to make their appointment sound exciting too. Do not say something like, okay, this might hurt you, but we're going to the, to the dentist tomorrow. Do not say hurt because they wouldn't even have thought that something would hurt them. But then as soon as you say hurt or pain or sore, they will go, oh my God, so something is going to hurt me. And then they will get nervous and they will get scared. So never, ever say that to them and never, ever say, which I hear this a lot. Do not tell your kids that if they have a cavity, they will get a needle and that will hurt. Nobody likes needles, okay? If they have a cavity, we will talk to them. We will talk to them about how to um, avoid more cavities. We do not mention the needle because if they don't know that they're getting a needle, they won't be scared because they can't feel it. We put a numbing agent on there first so that they don't feel the needle. We do say something like, we have to put your tooth to sleep um depending on the dentist some of them say they will feel a pinch but i don't like that because pinches hurt right so i don't like saying that some of them say it will feel hot for a second you know but i don't like that either because then that implies pain so it depends on where you go but i find the worst thing is when parents tell um their child that they're getting a needle no kid likes the needle okay so just don't tell them that but um, at their first appointment, we keep it simple. Like age two, we might be able to polish their teeth if they want us to. Um, I usually say um, we will make your teeth nice and smooth and shiny. Um, I show them everything. So I show them my polisher and I tell them that this is like my um, special toothbrush, like the one that they have at home, but it just looks a little bit different. And I can see all of their teeth. So I will clean them, I will polish them. Now some two-year-olds don't like the taste of our toothpaste, so I don't actually often use any um, toothpaste on a two-year-old, you know, three-year-old, depending on the patient. So as a parent, it does help if you are able to um, bring in the toothpaste that they like, so that I can put it on my polisher and then I can um, polish um, um, for them. And I like to polish because as I'm in there, 
I can look at all of the teeth at the same time. If they don't let me polish, then I do have to pick up my little um, mirror and my little instrument that's kind of um, pointy. So some kids don't like that. And I have to look in the mouth that way. But I don't, you know, show them the pointy instruments because they don't like that, right? And they can't see what I'm putting in their mouth. So I will show them things like my polisher. I will show them my um, um, mirror because that's easy. I will show them the, the um, little um, air water syringe so that if I use some water, they know what it looks like. Um, I will show them my straw to suck up the water. So that's all that I pretty much show them. And then I show them also my toy box. And I do say after your appointment, if you can open up really, really wide, then you can have a toy and they love that. Um, so a lot of parents ask me, do you take x-rays at the first um, appointment? No, unless we see something that we don't like. Like if we look inside their mouth and, and we can see um, obvious cavities or obvious holes in the teeth, we might take an, um, an x-ray just so we can see if there's any cavities in between the teeth because that we can't see and that's not something that we want to miss. But I also would like to say that if you see that in your um, child now, you know, that's okay, but you do need to bring them in to see us so that we can help them, you know, because I do have a lot of um, moms and dads say to me that they had noticed their child had a cavity, but they felt so horrible that they didn't bring the child in for a long time. And that's not a good thing because a cavity over time, you guys, can cause pain. And children have a hard time telling you when they're in pain, okay? They actually do. They may be in pain over here, but they don't know that it's coming from their tooth. So they may be um, crying and saying that they're tired, but actually they have tooth pain. They may be acting out for no reason, but actually they have tooth pain. So please bring them in. We totally understand. We don't go, oh my God, like this kid has so many cavities. This is horrible. No, because we understand kids get cavities. Okay, so bring them in so we can have a look. Um, we typically take x-rays H6 if the child needs it. If they don't need it, we don't take them. Easy, right? Um, and even if you have a child now who may be over the age of two, you might be thinking, oh shoot, like I haven't brought them in yet. Should I bring them in now? Yes, it's never too late. I saw a patient the other day where her son was 10 and he had never had his, his um, teeth cleaned before. But I was just so happy that she was able to bring him in um, there was a lot of work that needed to be done, but I was just so happy that she brought him in so we can get started because we never want a child to be in pain. And even if you don't think you see any um, issues, any tooth issues, there might be something in there that you can't see. So please bring them in. So I say age two, so we can have a look. If we're not even able to clean the teeth because they're so shy, that's fine. The main thing is that they come in so we can show them around. We might be able to have a look inside the mouth if they if they actually cry because they're nervous or you know something. That's okay because when they cry, their mouth is open. So we can just have a quick look in there and then that's it. So if you guys have questions, please let me know. I do hope this helped and I'll see you guys in the next video.